And the last one, number 11, um, we're going to expand this. So I've got 3, the sine of t, the cos of pi, minus 3, the cos of t, the sine of pi. Well, the sine of pi is 0, so that whole bit's 0. And the cos of pi is minus 1. So this bit here is minus 3 sine t. I'm sure we did that earlier as well. Um, so if I divide both sides by minus 3, I can tell you that sine t is y over 2. And of course, cos squared. Cos squared is 1 minus sine squared. So if I want to find out cos, it's 1 minus this thing squared. So 1 minus y squared over 9. Let's use these two things in that one because x is tan t. So x is sine t over cos t. So it's minus y over 3 divided by the square root of, let's put this as one fraction, so 9 minus y squared over 9. And let's square root that 9 as well. So I've just put the square root on the top and the square root of 9 is 3 because then I can just leave it as x equals minus y divided by the square root of 9 minus y squared. And I can stop there because it doesn't say leave it in any form. It doesn't say leave it as y equals there. I've linked the x's and the y's together. I'm not doing any more.